Hey guys, what's going on dudes? It is David here. We are back with another video. Now in this video guys, we're going to be doing some Inter Milan transfer news that have been going on in the past couple of days. Now I have decided, now when it comes to my schedule for the next couple of weeks, you're going to see Inter Milan transfer news come up every Tuesday. And there's going to be a certain vi there's going to there's going to be a certain day where it could be any content but then there's going to be a certain day where it's going to be specifically that content for every single week. So for every single Tuesday for the rest of the year, it'll be Inter Milan transfer news going over the biggest news that has been going on with Inter Milan. So, today we will be talking about Gabriel Jesus. The most interesting transfer or interesting name that I've heard link with Inter Milan in the past couple of days. Now, of course, Gabriel Jesus is the striker for Manchester City currently right now. He is 22 years old. He is a very good Brazilian footballer. And the reason why Inter Milan is basically linked with him is because of this whole Barcelona situation with Lautaro Martinez. Like I said in my previous Inter video where I was talking about him, um, that um, Barcelona want to buy Lautaro Martinez. And if they were to buy Lautaro Martinez... Inter would possibly go in for a new striker. Now, they've been linked with a whole bunch of names. They've been linked with guys like Balotti, like Immobile, like Aubameyang. And now we are we are linked with Jesus. The only problem is, when it comes to the Jesus move, is I actually don't think it's going to happen. The reason I don't think it's going to happen is, is mainly simple. Inter are going to keep on, keep, keep hold of Lautaro Martinez. The reason why is because Lautaro Martinez loves his club. He has already said to Inter that if he cannot, if it, Inter and Barcelona don't agree on terms with it, with Barcelona by the end of his July seventh release clause date, he will sign a new contract. And so far, the way things are going, Barcelona will not be able to afford Lautaro Martinez because Inter want at least ninety five million plus a player, and Barcelona can't afford that. Or Barcelona are gonna have to wait until his release clause, which is more, is one hundred eleven million dollars. And Barcelona currently cannot pay that because they got a lot of good players there. And they have a lot of good players on that wage bill. But let's say, let's say Lautaro Martinez were to go to Barcelona and we were to get, and we were to go in for Gabriel Jesus. Would Gabriel Jesus want to come to Inter Milan? I probably think, yeah, because Gabriel Jesus some, most of the time is sitting down on that bench. Because of course, you know, Man City have Aguero and... If Gabriel Jesus is, is getting towards like getting towards being in his prime, he's going to want to be a starting player. Now, if Inter Milan were to sell Lautaro Martinez, then Gabriel Jesus would definitely be a starting player. He'd be alongside a big, strong guy like Lukaku. He could be the pacey player, so what, the, the goal scorer, and basically a symbol like that. So I feel like Gabriel Jesus would definitely be a perfect fit for Inter Milan. If if he were to leave Manchester City and if La if La Martinez were to leave Manchester City, but when it comes to Gabriel Jesus moving into Inter Milan, like let's say we keep into let's say let's say we keep Lata Martinez and we still try and go for Lata um, Gabriel Jesus because we need a backup striker. That situation I really don't think so because if we're going to have a backup striker, I would rather have it someone be like Giroud. Who can come off the bench and still score goals as he does for Chelsea, and then start some games because that way you're not really having like like two young strikers, one on the bench, one in in their or both you know like both both very young, and you don't want both of them you know like coming out battling for positions. I mean that's that's what that's what provides good football from the guy that's starting. You have competition in your position, and you want to do better than the person you're trying to out, outperform. So yeah, when it comes to this Lautaro uh, Martinez, um, Gabriel Jesus thing, I really don't know what's gonna happen with this uh, Inter Milan transfer news. But in other Inter Milan transfer news, now we're gonna be talking about another Inter Milan transfer that could be actually complete in the next couple of weeks. We're gonna be talking about Sandro Tonali, the midfielder for Brescia, who I think right now are in the relegation zone. And if and if and if Brescia does go down. Tonali is going to want to move to a perfect team. Now he has already said that if he were to um, if he were to move to a new team, Inter Milan have been interested in him, Barcelona have been interested in him, Juventus have been interested in him, Fiorentina has been interested in him. But he has said that he would love to play in Antonio Conte's system, and he would definitely fit in that system because right now I say Inter's biggest problem when it comes to like depth is it's probably the midfield. 
we we don't really have a, a lot of midfielders. I say we probably have about three to four. I say about four to five midfielders. And when it comes to attacking positions, we have a lot more attackers than we do midfielders. So Antonio Conte has already said that when it comes to the transfer window, he's going to want to look into buying more midfield players and more defensive players so he can have more depth, especially considering that we're, we're probably going to be in the Champions League next season and we're going to need the depth for that Champions League squad. So Inter are going to want to buy more midfield options. They've, they've liked Sandro Tonali for a while and now Juventus have two. And it's basically been like a battle between both of them to see who was going to get him. But now it seems like um, Sandro Tonali has already agreed terms with Inter. The only thing left for Inter to do when it comes to this transfer is discuss with Brescia over a transfer fee. Now Inter Milan want to pay 30 to $35 million for Sandro Tonali, but Brescia want $50 million. So what does Inter do in that situation? Inter uses the Barella, the Nicolo Barella situation that they did last year with um, Cagliari, where they took him on loan with you know like paying some money then, and they had then they have the obligation to buy. So which means at the end of this current season, they will end up buying Nicolo Barella for a certain amount of money. And they have said that they would really love to use that simple formation, that the that's that formula to sign Sandro Tonali. And would I welcome Sandro Tonali there? Yeah, he looks like he looks like a very, very good young central central defensive midfielder. It basically looks like the next Pirlo because he has this, he has a similar style of a Pirlo. And he, bro, his look, if if bro, if if when he gets to like around the thirties age, don't tell me he's not gonna look like Pirlo with that hair because Pirlo had that kind of hair. He was that kind of midfielder. And funny enough, Inter uh, Inter Milan were actually the first team to actually buy Pirlo. Then they sold him. So hopefully this this can be a little bit different. I mean, Centro Tonali is going to want to stay there because Antonio's Conte system. And Antonio Conte is probably going to stay at Inter for a couple seasons now. So I'm really, really excited when it comes to the Sandro Tonali situation. I can't wait to see if they're going to be able to agree a fee on him. And when it comes to the Gabriel Jesus situation, I don't really know what's going to happen. I really want Tom Martinez to stay because I love the guy. Um, I use him in my FIFA FIFA 20 career mode, and he's such a very, very good player. And I love how the way he plays. He just scored the other day against Sampdoria, and they'll be playing Sassuolo in a couple of days, so we'll see how, send, uh, um, how Tom Martinez does. But Barcelona do have the money to buy Latam Martinez, and Latam Martinez does eventually go to Barcelona. I would definitely welcome uh, Gabriel Jesus to the club, and I would love to have a striker like him at Inter Milan. So... Anyway, guys, I want to thank you guys for watching this video. Please do smash the like button. But anyway, guys, I will see you guys all later. Peace.